Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine. Continue to read the psalm. I have finished some uh, first part of Psalm 139. I'm going to finish uh, the second part. If you recall, the Psalm 139 was written by David. Um, it's praise. Uh, the first part is all um, saying the praise, how wonderful this God is, and also how um, faithful this God is, regardless where he is going. David said, either high in the heaven or uh, depth, uh, in the depths of Abbas, that this God is still with him. So I'm going to continue to read. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well my frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body, all the days ordained for me, were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. If only you would slay the wicked, O Lord, away from me, you bloodthirsty man. They speak of you with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord, and abhor those who rise up against you? I have nothing but hatred for them. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. So this uh, second uh, uh, half of uh, Psalm 139, um, continue to, to praise uh, uh, to say the fact uh, from what he David believed about this God, the fact of this God, what David believed, saying that, uh, for you created my inner, inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb, so you created me, David. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Uh, praise because one of the reasons because of the fear of God and also because of the faith and confidence I was wonderfully made. I think this is, uh, uh, your works are wonderful. So this is uh, on top of the humble in front of God. At the same time, the confidence I'm made by this God is wonderfully made. I think this is the confidence um, on top of the faith. Actually, the faith rendered confidence. Um, I know that for a while, my frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. So this is saying that well, I was, my frame was, hit, uh, was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. So this is saying that uh, uh, during un hidden secret place, but cannot hidden from you. Um, while I was all woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw me on formed body. So before I was made, or before I was who I am today, you still saw me. You saw me on formed or uh, low or whatever it is, uh, the pieces of me, uh, not who, not before I become who, whom I am today. So this uh, probably, if you recall, David's old time, a shepherd boy, uh, just common, plain, a common average family. And uh, at that time, God already saw him, framed him, and uh, become bigger. So he, he knew only the God knows that. Um, all the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. So this is the same thing. It's already prophesied or it's already written in your book who I was, whom I am, and whom I will be. Um, how precious to me are your thoughts, O oh God! How vast is the sum of them! So this is the, the, the thought of God to... And he was is the sum of... Um, were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. So this is um, 
too much to count. So the miraculous deeds of God is too many to count. While awake, I'm still with you. So either sleep or wake. While awake, I'm still with you. So it's like, uh, I think this probably imply why I'm awake in mingled with the world, with the people, the people around me. And you will see, uh, follow that, is that I'm still with you, even though I probably smile with them, laugh with them, say the, the words with them, but my heart is still with you. See, if only you would slay the wicked, oh God, away from me, those bloodthirsty men. So even though I think this is probably referring to what David said, I'm awake, I'm still with you. Um, I'm not slay the wicked, so I probably love with them together, even though they're wicked, because I am not in position to do so. But only God, you can do it, slay those. And also, away from me, you bloodthirsty man. That's the only thing he can do, just calling God help me to take those people away from me. But in the real life, it's impossible. Always surrounded by the honest or the wicked, by the good or the evil. So this is just, uh, so are they really referring to why awake? I'm still with you, even though I probably look alike with them, but uh, the same as them, but I'm not one of them. I'm still with you. Uh, they speak of you with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. So this is saying those people, even though they um, they praise you, they speak of you, but the, the uh, intention was for evil. And uh, I, I'm, do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord, and about those who rise up against you? Of course I do. This is saying that even though I'm awake, I'm with you, but I'm not the one who slay those wicked, but I hate them to the soul. God, you see that. I have nothing but hatred for them. I count them my enemies. In the heart, probably, that's what David mean. In the heart, they count them as enemies. But again, this is saying that um, only the God who slay them. Uh, search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. So this is a pray, God, uh, please search my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. And of course, the anxious thoughts is to be uh, close with this God he believed. And um, lead me in the way of everlasting because David has the, the thought of the, the anxiousness or panting for the everlasting. Only the God can give him. So this is a pray uh, from his heart. So this is the Psalm 139. We see, um, we see the... Uh, it was written by David. We know the author, by the way, do not know the time or circumstances, but I sense the, the strong um, feeling about this faith to the God and also the faithful of God to him cannot hide from God. And also, um, I think it's kind of uh, self-claim, this claim that I'm with you, God, even though I'm with people, even though I'm awake in the world, but I, my heart is with you. Probably when I'm with people, mingled with them, I seemed different. But you examine my heart, you examine me, you know me better than anyone. So I'm still awake, uh, still uh, awake and with you. So this is a uh, Psalm 139. I'm gonna stop here, and uh, uh, you can read and interpret it in your own way. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.